Thomas in Lansing, Michigan. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo. Mo Better because I don't have you seeing Mo Better. Look at Mo Better. I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling when I cut clear lenses with anti-glare for your Versace. This is the model number 4307, color GB1, the classic shiny black and gold, and the 58 eye size. Now, he's already gotten a pair of sunglasses from me, the 4275s, and now he wants a pair of clear lenses. Of course, comes with all the accoutrements, your Versace cleaning cloth, your card of authenticity that has your international warranty on there, and junk mail in, like, every language known to man. Um, so... But the star of the show, the main attraction, is hiding inside this Italian leather Versace case. And here we are. We got the frame. Now, this is a sunglass. I'm going to take the dark lenses out and put the clear lenses in there. It comes with a plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while it is being shipped from where? From Italy. All Versaces are made in Italy. This, again, is the model number. 4307 color GB1, the classic shiny black, 58 eye size, 17 bridge, and 145 temple length. So this has the Medusa on each temple and the Greco engravings. Those are the two emblems combined onto one frame. The Versaces either have the Greco pattern or the Medusa. This has it on both temples. Mine only has the Medusa there. So, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses that you will be receiving. I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker, but first, ooh, I need to assign it a number. You are Secret Agent 2709. So that years from now, should you ever need new lenses, where'd my paperclip go? I know I got one here. Got one here. Should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can mail them right to your home. And you can pop them in when you see how easy it is to do. I'm going to hit the start button. A little stylus is going to pop up. Go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Versace frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now, you'll get reimbursed in full for the HSA flex cards. I'm not part of any insurance plan, so you'll get your out-of-network reimbursement for that. Now, here's the other thing. I am an authorized Versace dealer. My website needs updating. I'm going to get Jigsaw on there. Thomas emailed me and says, can you get me the Versace 4307? I said, yes, I can. In fact, it sells for $240. And with the anti-glare coating, my house anti-glare adds $44.99 for a total of $289.99. So I don't have this frame on the website yet. Hopefully, Jigsaw will add this. The Versace 4307, size 58, color GB1. So in the future, anyone else can go ahead and buy it without having to email me. But I'm always glad to talk to you. So I need to answer the or enter the pupillary distance 35.5 for the right eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm gonna tap that button. I'm gonna go up a couple millimeters to 24. I may even go one higher, but let's get your lenses prepped. Plus a quarter minus 50 at 102, plus a quarter minus 50 at 102. Put the power drum on plus a quarter. Take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Rotate it till the spherical component comes into view first. Check the astigmatism correction. That lines up good. Let's go ahead and put three dots on those lenses. And we're going to label this one the right lens. Let me darken that a little bit so it's easier to see. I'm going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Plus a quarter minus one at 87 plus a quarter minus one at 87. Take the lens out of the protective packet. Put the power drum, what are we at? Oh, plus a quarter still, so I don't have to move anything. Rotate it until the spherical component, the plus a quarter comes into view. Check the astigmatism correction. Put three dots on there. Darken those so you can follow along at home. And this is the left lens. 
Now, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. So, the reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. The blue crosses the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that and inset. So, I'm going to get everything laid out. Check to make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. Hit that. Oops, oops, up. I missed a step. I missed a step. I need the blocks. This is a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. Let's move back to right. I got two double sided adhesive stickers. The black side is the sticky side. Stick that one on the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now, the magnet's going to do its job its first time. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to attach itself to a magnet there. What I do with the right lens? There it is. Put that back on the platform. Get it laid out just so. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down place the block onto the left lens. Do the same thing now for, well, I'm sorry, that was the right. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away, line up the magnet. The pupillary distance for the left eye is 37. I'm going to raise that up there. Get that laid out just perfectly. Make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. Hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. This costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home. You won't need this guy with the two thumbs who's forgetful about the blocks to cut them for you. The actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material to the final size. This wheel in the center that has that channel, that little valley. That's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to wake the computer up. This is job ID number 2709. 2709, or as I like to call it, installment 2709 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So stay tuned and watch that last episode because, spoiler alert, something crazy is going to happen. Now, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that material. We're going to stick with polycarbonate because that's my material of choice. I'm not going to polish the edge. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly, place the magnet into the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. I know, you're moaning. It's a bad joke, but I got to tell it. So... The door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none with your prescription in this frame. Now the water in the background is there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry. <coughs> Speaking of dry, my throat got dry there. Plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry. Now, water will spray onto the lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you see beginning to form around the edge of the lenses. Polycarbonate is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. It is virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now if you notice your lens is completely flat all around the edges, just like a nickel. If I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter on its own. Now it's getting the V-shape, the knife-like edge, knife-like bevel. A very dull knife, much like myself but a very a knife-like edge nonetheless. 
Now, the anti-glare coating that you got on there, you upgraded to, is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights, and such, the other feature is that the second feature goes by the initials ARC, anti-reflective coating, so it reduces reflections. When someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection on your glasses. It makes for much better eye contact. Or if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see your phone in the lens. Or if someone takes a picture of you with a flash, you're less likely to see that. Now one thing, hang on one second, one second. Thought I heard something. Thought I heard something. No, I'm just imagining stuff. Now let me put this back on my head. The, uh, the third feature that I like, which has the practical side, is it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating. The machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars. Excuse me while I open this door with my mind. And so because of the time and the expense of adding the anti-glare coating, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So I'm going to tuck this into the outside corner, push down the nose, it snaps right in. Let me see if I can fix this camera. That's what I get for taking off in the middle of, uh, of the shoot. Let's flip that over to L. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Thomas. Hit the green start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts. Just like before, it's now going to trace the shape of the left lens. Make sure the lens inside the machine is large enough to fit the side of the inside of the left frame. And then go around twice to know where to place the bevel, measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness. Thomas, look at that. You got no edge thickness in this frame. So, yesterday I had a special for extra thick lenses. You should have come by yesterday. Today you're getting thin lenses with no edge thickness. Sorry about that. Next time you buy it, tell me you want extra thick lenses and I'll hook you up. But you ain't getting it unless you ask for it. So, if you don't ask for it, you're going to get thin lenses. So I'm going to put it back in the machine. I'm going to spin the axis wheel to 102. If I can find 102 on here. Read the power. I'm getting plus a quarter. One tick mark away from zero going towards one. There's a plus emblem there in the black. Minus numbers are in the red. You need, you are far-sighted. You need one step of near-sighted correction in order to see far away. Now, once the image is the correct size, you have two steps of uncorrected astigmatism correction. Excuse me, two steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism, I was going to say, makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine-tune knob. We're going to turn that fine-tune knob to 102, a straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. We're going to turn that fine-tune knob just past 90 to 102. Now your left eye, you have the same amount of nearsighted correction, but you have four steps of astigmatism correction, and we're going to turn that knob just shy of the 90 at 87. Now you're on the first rung of the ladder. For You need one step of magnification to see far away clearly. You have two steps of correction in your right eye, four steps in your left. Now these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. Now, the Versace, as I mentioned before, the Versace 4307 sunglasses sells for $240. No charge. You get free prescription lenses with the purchase of any frame. My house anti-glare coating adds $44.99 for a total of $289.97 tax-free. The reason why I say tax-free, a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. I don't. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device so I don't have to charge tax on eyeglasses. Now the other nice thing about your lenses, they are polycarbonate, which I mentioned, but they're also aspheric. Aspheric simply means not spherical. A spherical lens is completely round in every direction. Gives you an ugly cosmetic look and a, a fishbowl appearance. So not only are these lenses thinner, all right, come on camera, come on camera. Not only are these lenses thinner, but the front curvature is flatter to fit in today's flatter curvature frames. It's going to give you a wider field of view. When you buy glasses online, they charge you for your prescription, which is no bueno. If you want to upgrade to the thinner, lighter weight, unbreakable polycarbonate with 100% UVA and UVB protection, they charge you a second time for that, which is Dublé, no bueno. And then if you want the aspheric, the flatter curvature lenses, they charge you a third time for that, which is Triple no bueno. 
So you're always going to get that for free from me anytime you buy a frame from me. So run my thumbnail around, make sure all the optical sawdust is done. We're going to tuck the lens in on the outside corner, push down the nose, it snaps right in, take the block off, pull the sticker away, use my hand approved drying method, add to my sticker collection, come down here, spin the fine tune knob to 87, put it in over that black dot, read the power and I am getting plus a quarter going away from zero one tick mark going towards one now you have one dot of astigmatism correction we end but minus 75 one tick mark away from one in the red we started at a quarter in the black this is like roulette that's because if you had a quarter but you owed somebody a dollar you would be 75 cents in the red that's where at point 75 in the red now your PD this is known as final inspection. I'm a licensed optician. I went to college for this. I passed my state board exam and I have 21 years experience in the field and I've even started designing my own frames. But this is known as final inspection. I'm just making sure that everything is made. That's how I guarantee that every prescription is made perfect. The, when you buy glasses online, you have no idea whether they're going to be made correctly. This way I'm actually showing you the entire process and showing you that they're even made correctly. The last couple steps, I want to measure the pupillary distance, 35.5 and 37 to 72.5. The optical center height was, what was it? I need to write it down. We went up to 24. I went two above the center and cut it at 24. So I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb. When I hold it up to that side, we're getting 72.5. So that is cut perfectly. Now, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the plastic at the deepest point, we're getting 24 millimeters. 24 millimeters, that is cut perfectly. Now, the last step in the final inspection is getting it in standard alignment, but I'm going to take a moment and explain that when you get these in the mail, and of course, free shipping anywhere in the U.S., and Lansing, Michigan is in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. This is the last step of the inspection. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take my Versace's off, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I am wearing the Versace 3245 color 5237, which is the blue tortoise with the platinum temples. And again, I have the Medusa emblem on the edge. Let me put my back on. I'm waiting for the postal carrier to pick something up. Nope, he didn't text me. Those are my Christian eyewear frames that I designed. You're going to be there by July 4th. They're going to be live. So I'm going to flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly. And they do. That neither temple is askew. I want to make sure the tension on each hinge is the same. If one was looser or tighter, I would tighten the loosened one or loosen the tighter one. But do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell icon so you can get future notifications of frames and lenses as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions, like Thomas did, he said, can you get me this Versace 4307 because it's not on your website. I've gotten glass Versace's from you before, sunglasses. I want some clear glasses. I trust your work. I know what you're doing. You're solid. You're going to make you guarantee your work. So I want these. I looked them up, got them a price for them, $240 with free prescription lenses. He said, do it, do it. So the, um, if you do have any questions, if there's a frame out there you want that I can't get, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses.com, the contact me page. And you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But Thomas, thank you so much for your repeat business. Thank you for the purchase of the Versace 4307 color GB1. This is the only color it comes in currently. And now with your anti-glare lenses. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.